Chelsea Clinton has cautioned that restricting ladies' entitlement to a fetus removal is absolutely inconceivable and unchristian. The previous first little girl said that upsetting Roe v. Swim would be an extremely unchristian activity in a Cyrus XM talk with Thursday. We can't return to that, pre Roe v. Wade. That is unconscionable to me, Clinton said. As a profoundly religious individual, it's likewise unchristian to me, she cautioned. This isn't the first occasion when the Chelsea Clinton has said something inconsistent with her asserted Christian convictions. In January, 2018, Chelsea gloated to fans that Satanism is a religion that merits our regard and freely wish the Church of Satan a Happy New Year. DailyCaller.com reports, Clinton included that she's as of late been contrasted with slave proprietors and Nazis, and that she expects her remarks will be met with abhor by many. Clinton at that point contrasted herself with judges on the U.S. preeminent court, in her endeavors to anchor premature birth access for ladies. I've had the audacity to, as the Supreme Court did in 1992 in Planned Parenthood v. Casey, to bring up that our capacity to partake completely in our general public, including financially, depends on our capacity to have the capacity to settle on decisions for our bodies," Clinton said. The court certified in Planned Parenthood v. Casey that ladies have a privilege to prematurely and before the baby can live outside of the womb yet dismissed Roe v. Swim's trimester structure. The decision verified that states can execute their own particular confinements on fetus removal in light of adaptable medicinal meanings of practicality. Idealism is an ethical decision, Clinton likewise said in clarification of how she remains positive amid a period of vulnerability concerning the forthcoming status of Roe v. Swim. Clinton likewise guaranteed at a professional decision occasion in August that sanctioning fetus removal wasn't disengaged from the way that the U.S. economy enhanced by trillions of dollars since Roe v. Swim. It's anything but a detached reality, that American ladies entering the work drive from 1973 to 2009 included three and a half trillion dollars to our economy, that isn't separated from the way that Roe turned into the tradition that must be adhered to in January of 1973. Her remarks were met with flame by a bunch of moderates and outreaching Christians.